Hello everybody. I must say I have been quite a bit addicted from David Brennan's model or models, sorry. His, the link to his channel is in uh, the description. <clears throat> David starts quite often with uh, a torus knot which is one of the standard primitives in Wings 3D, by the way. It's also a standard primitive in uh, 3DS Max. And we don't have this in Modo, so I thought I'll do a torus knot. It's also called a trefoil knot or an Escher knot. And you can put it in the, your presets if you wish, because it's quite a fun shape to start all sorts of nice looking uh, models. Okay, enough talk, let's start. I start with a square, no, with a box really. And I make it 100 by 10 by 10 millimeters and put it in the middle. A key so we see it. Now for what I want to do uh, there need to be some rules. So first I uh, make this a uniform loop slice with a count of 15 so we get 16 segments because this must be a multiple of 16. Uh, I will show or tell you later why because I want to make such a spiraling uh, torus knot with a single curve and to get to this result of a single curve you need this must be a multiple of 16 uh, so I checked it with uh, 16 uh, 32, 64, all worked. Okay, so let's click in here and then go to deform, twist, and I twist it three times 180 degrees. Depending on how complex you want to make uh, a shape, you can also do 5 times 180, 7, 9, 11. With 11 you probably come to the limit of uh, the practicality of such a, a model. Anyway, I do the most simple ones with uh, 3 times 180 and of course around the X. Then I go to deform, twist, uh, sorry, bend click in here and this must be 100 this must be minus 50 this must be 0 and then we can bend it by 360 degrees drop the tool then I select these polygons in here delete them go to vertex merge automatic and four vertices have merged, then we can put everything in the middle. Okay, now we already have the curve or the edges which form such a torus geometry. But I want to make it a bit more even, so I go to the side view and bring out the dimensions tool and this is 42.2 and I want to make this one 21.1 21.1 that's good okay now I select this edge here and then run shift f5 Seneca menars perfect uh, no quick pipe this one here and I forgot something very important let's uh, 
look at the pipe we have. You see it has six sides and it must have six sides, otherwise it doesn't work. And also it doesn't work with 12 or with 8, it must have six sides. If you want to accomplish what I want to accomplish in this uh, tutorial. So, we can delete this here and must close this one. So, I select these edges here, go to Action Center, Selection, R key, bring it together, and let's see. And uh, Vertex Merge Automatic does certainly not work. Six have merged, that's good, like so. Now, you might want to go to uh, Items mode, right click on the model and save this preset to your presets just in case you want to use it again for some other things. We can already make some very nice things here and to uh, illustrate a little bit what I'm after, I will put some colors in here or some materials. So I select this M key, press 1 or give it the number 1, color, make it a bit reddish. OK. Then I select the next loop, L key, M give it another material, make it a bit blue, like so, OK, OK. Now we have uh, three double stripes, L, Shift H, if I like this, and Unhide, we can already make with this some very nice things like, uh, well, I leave it up to your imagination and fantasy. But now comes the fun part. I select all these edges here, go to Polygon mode, go to Polygon Spiky, click in here, go back to Edge mode and backspace delete this edge. You see, we have still, from all our three different colors, we have parts. But now, if I select two polygons in here and press the up arrow key, we traverse all the different color segments. And if I am patient enough and keep my finger on the up arrow key, then now all the polygons are selected. So we have, in fact, a single polygon strip which represents this entire model, which I think is quite uh, fascinating. I'm, I'm sure this has a name. I tried to Google it for uh, some time. I have no idea how this is called. But anyway, I think it's fascinating and let me show what else we can do with it. So first I will select two vertices in here, press the L key, then Control P to create a closed uh, curve. Then I use H this, then select this, Control X, N for a new mesh, Control V, put it in and go back to my original mesh, U for unhide. And uh, now we can do things like uh, Alt C, but the count of two and uniform, yes, that's good. Alt 3, B for bevel, bevel this out a bit, maybe one millimeter. 
then select an edge in the other direction, like this one, or C. And because this is one continuous surface, it will cover everything, all three. And B again. And pull this out, maybe 0.5 millimeters. You can give different materials. You could select uh, surfaces like this to continue whatever you like to do. But it just shows that looks like an alien uh, animal which eats itself. <laughs> anyway, it's only your imagination and fantasy which limits what uh, you can do with such a starting position. Now let me go to this uh, curve and when I select this curve in polygon mode, you see we have one single polygon, meaning this is just one curve. And this allows me now to do a spiral, which uh, finally represents this trefoil knot. So I go to basic, take uh, cylinder or a circle with, we make it eight edges and 1.8, sounds good. And then I can shift select this polygon, go to a duplicate, curve extrude, and maybe you remember we have 348 edge segments in this one polygon, so I make it 348 steps and click in the viewport and we must flip this. And now we have this, which uh, looks quite nice. It is like uh, a rope spiraling around itself, but we can even do something nicer. I select this here, then go to polygon, thicken, click in the viewport and click, thicken it to the negative side, minus 400, yes, why not? That's good. Then I select everything here, M, and give it a glass material. Go to the render tab and we must see this. A key and then I can go to layout and give some environment this one and use this glass material and now we can render it. This will no, no, I make this bigger. 888, control, enter, F9. This will take a while and I will pause the video here. So here we are. That's it. I hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.